we were in your same situation uh, when we took the phone to Sundance, and in the past, Sundance has been kind of like the holy grail for where you go and sell your movie if you need it independently. Um, and what's happened in the last year or 18 months in the industry is that the number of buyers has shrunk drastically with places like uh, Warner Independent or Picture House or Paramount Vantage. Um, sort of closing or being absorbed into the larger studio body. And uh, so we were in this place at the festival where there were a lot of films that weren't selling, you know, movies with huge casts and, you know, things that would have been really obvious high dollar sales in prior years just were stuck kind of sitting around. And we did get offers um, for the movie, but, you know, it was kind of clear that we had made, we had made the film for, like Mariana said, two hundred thousand dollars, and the offers we were getting just weren't appealing enough to give away all of our rights um, for a little money and 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 sort of the half-hearted theatrical release, and so we just kind of uh, took a pause and didn't rush out and and try and. Uh, make a deal, and you know we were represented uh, by William Morris, who's like one of the best, you know, best sales agents um, in the business, and and you know they were very hot to trot for us when we got into Sundance, and everyone just assumed it was like a done deal, um, but we we just paused after the festival and then thought, well, we did all this, maybe we could keep going, you know, how would we do it? And we approached it just like we approached the movie. You know, you put the money together. Um, we knew that the investor was really passionate about the project and really happy with the way that it had turned out. So we put a budget together for what we thought we needed, you know, to do advertising and make the trailer and, you know, a certain amount of print ads and uh, internet work and prints and all, all the stuff that you would need to get a movie out there. And. Uh, we just started one foot in front of the other. You know, we, we had a poster, and then we had a trailer, and then we had our website, and it was just like plugging along, and, and we worked with a theatrical booker, and uh, we, were, we hired a publicist, and, and we just did it. And it, you know, it's been a fabulous experience. It is a massive amount of work. Um, anyone who tells you it's easy is hasn't done it, um, but it's really rewarding, and it's wonderful to take a film all the way from the beginning to the end, and, and I would say it's never too early to be thinking about how you want to get your film to the marketplace and how you want to reach your audience and, and how, why you're making the film and what you're trying to say, because those are the things that kind of, that's what dictates like the life of your of your movie. So I highly recommend it. There's a ton of filmmakers doing it now. It's really exciting. And the more successful independent filmmakers are who do it, the more it takes the power back in the hands of the filmmakers because you don't need this you know, massive entity, this Wizard of Oz, to help you reach your dream. You can do it yourself, which I think is awesome. <laughs>